Tama International School is proud to deliver the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award, an award scheme that focuses on challenging and equipping young people, transforming lives and celebrating young people outside academia. The award allows young people to be able to determine what they are passionate about, regardless of their culture, background or access to resources. The Duke of Edinburgh International Award is the world's leading achievement award. Since the International School became an award center in 2018, we have had 25 gold award recipients. And today, we'll be celebrating the achievements of 11 silver and 36 bronze award participants. These participants, with the aid of the award scheme, have developed quality skills like teamwork, confidence, and problem-solving abilities that will help them in their education and future careers. As a proud good alumnus of the Duke of Edinburgh International Award Program at Tema International School, I can testify to this truth. You would also agree with me if you read the Duke's alumni reflection in the TIS bulletin. The award recipients we will be celebrating today have completed all the requirements the award journey demanded with the support of the award leaders and assessors in the field of service, physical recreation, volunteering, and skills. At the International School, our curriculum by default allows students to meet the DOE requirements. The only extra activity participants will have to engage in is Adventurous Journey, which the DOE department in TIS grants participants the opportunity to engage in. This is the reason why I always encourage TIS students to participate in the DOE award program. Receive an award for what you're already doing and use it for your university application. Moving forward, we'll be opening registration for TIS alumni who are age eligible and neighboring schools to sign up for the DOE award program here at TIS. The Duke of Edinburgh International Award is open to anyone. Whatever your starting point is, I promise you, it will be an exciting adventure. Thank you everyone for joining us to celebrate these young achievers. My name is Joshua Mefo. I am a bronze award participant. For my skill, I learned how to play the saxophone. Please enjoy my performance.
This has taken too long, everyone. Why has it taken us two years? Temer International School, the home of the fast and furious Dukies. The most obvious observation about the Duke of Edinburgh International Award and Temer International School is that our students satisfy all the requirements during the normal school year. Now that we've added the camp program to satisfy the journey requirement of the award. Because we are the home of the fast and furious, our students can generally satisfy requirements much quicker because of the number of hours that they put into their various activities. And this is just one of the advantages of being a boarding school. So back in 2018, when we signed up for this prestigious award, it was a very easy yes. Our students were able to satisfy requirements and then they could add this prestigious award to their university applications. I love the Dukies Award for three simple reasons, for three simple words. First of all, balance, challenges and personal. At TIS, we expect every student to be balanced. Each aspect of the Dukies program and each award requires balance. At TIS, we expect students to challenge themselves to be the best they can be. A key aspect of each requirement of the Dukies Award is that it must be a challenge for the individual. And thirdly, every student must be striving for their personal best. For each individual award requirement for the Dukies, the challenge must be personal. It's not about anyone else and competing against others. It's about the individual. It's all personal. Perhaps it's now time for TIS to raise the bar. Except if you're under 14, every student should be attempting the Ajuki's Award. And if you're not, we have to ask the question of why aren't you taking advantage of what Tamar International School offers you? Now, here's some advice for those students who are 16 years or older. Go for the Gold Level Award. You can satisfy all these requirements and you can then add this prestigious award to your university applications. By doing so, you set yourself above everyone else and it makes you stand out in the crowd. And remember, getting into your university of choice and your program of choice is our goal. However, if you're not going for a Dukies Award, then I suggest you reconsider your university priorities. I'm very proud of this very historical occasion where we celebrate our first silver and bronze awardees. Congratulations on this occasion, and I now challenge you to go for gold. Thank you. For the Bronze Award recipients, Tiffany Ejapo, Apana Amo, Mamble Kwao, Baba Ejay Mensa. Frempoma Afranie J. Malaika Webb. Mame Hammond. Mame Abuna Mensa Asante. Ama Ousu Nedu John Adenu Mensa Joseph Bryan Asafu Bwache Lydia Bwache Elizabeth Anachui
Peter Arthur. Jerry Rubin Ajiman. And Idrisu Abdul Zakor. So my name is Emmanuel Henny Akufu and I'm a bronze medalist for the Duke of Edinburgh. I play table tennis for my recreational activity. Playing table tennis has made me disciplined, balanced and committed and I'm road ready. Elizabeth Anachi. I'm a bronze participant. Um, the skill I chose is cultural dance. This is because I love dancing and drumming. Um, it helped me to express myself and I'm world ready. My name is Joseph Bryan and I'm a bronze medalist. And for my recreational activity, I chose swimming. From swimming, I've learned how to build my stamina and I'm world ready. My name is Gabriel Achaku. I teach physical and health education. I also supervise students for their after school activities in sports. I am also an award leader for the Duke's award program. I have embarked on two expeditions with our students. Doing this gave me a lot of fulfilling moments. I had the opportunity to work with our students, to kayak with them to cook with them, to upsell with them. This gave me the opportunity to understand them better outside of the classroom in terms of their fears, in terms of their good moments and what I have to do to support them. I must say that the UK's program prepares students to be world ready because it helps them to develop skills and attitudes that are necessary for lifelong living. Continuing with the Bronze Award recipients. Torres Mandari. Edward Kwanza. Terrence Mondari. Ayako Elijanto Nadia French Obed Benny Emmanuel Akufu Deborah Gomado Joshua Mefo Cynthia Nutrako Dion Michelle Nadia Baumia Kelvin Ahiapo Kofi Asanti Karen Kwashi Mawonyo Anachui Principal, teachers, parents, students and award recipients As a Centre for the Head of State Award Scheme 
and the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award. Tema International School is proud to celebrate 36 students who have completed their bronze award level, 11 students who have successfully completed their silver award level, and two alumni who have also completed their gold award level and received on 30th October 2020 at the Jubilee House Award Ceremony by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana and Chief Patron of HOSA. TIS became an award centre in January 2018 and have accomplished 23 students and one member of staff in the Gold Award category. Congratulations to all award recipients for the hard work, dedication and selfless services rendered to our country, Ghana. You have all shown great resilience and tenacity in the face of a pandemic, proving that everything is possible at any time. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenges presented by COVID-19 are unprecedented. In addition, today's young people will endure its consequences for many years to come. Nevertheless, our young people can rise to this challenge and with support, they'll be ready for whatever tomorrow brings. Indeed, many young people nationwide are stepping outside their comfort zone. They are learning to lead. They are safely supporting their communities, getting active and gaining new skills. They are discovering adventure and having fun. They are participating in the Head of State Award Scheme and the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award. Through the award, young people develop the crucial skills they need to navigate, change and build positive habits now and in the future all while gaining an internationally recognized accreditation which is valued and recognized by governments, businesses and universities around the world. The award is a commitment which encourages young people to stay mentally and physically healthy, stay connected with others, give back to their communities, develop essential life skills and have fun. It increases their community engagement and improves their ability to build resilience, thriving in an ever-changing world, making them ready for life and work. To the award recipients, congratulations for successfully achieving your awards despite the challenges of COVID-19. Enjoy the moments. It has been a minimum of six to 12 months of tenacity, hard work, perseverance, self-discovery, and most importantly, community services in many various capacities to Mother Ghana. Tema International School's CAS, Creativity, Activity, Service Program, integrates harmoniously with the Head of State Award Scheme and Duke of Edinburgh's International Award, thus making it a good award center to appreciate. All of you are well equipped to make a positive contribution to the development of our country, Ghana. Achieving the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award means you have the tenacity to succeed in whatever you do in this life. Congratulations once again. TIS is world ready. Thank you. For the Silver Award recipients, Maria Abdul Rashid, Stephanie Louise Ajiman, Eritrea of being in cancer, Nana Ohiniche. Aku Ado Betty Ajavon Jennifer Noroha
Divina Yosen. Chelsea Bada. And Sean Ellis. My name is Peter Arthur and I'm a bronze participant. I'm Karen Magnakwashi and I am a bronze award participant. The Duke of Edinburgh Award Programme has helped me improve new skills as well as challenged me to learn new skills. I practice my violin as a skill and I feel that I've been able to improve my violin, my music reading skills as well as my fingering on my violin board. Thank you and I'm world ready. As a former coordinator of the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme, I can reflect on how we started off getting teachers involved, getting to understand the actual requirements of the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme and finding out that this also pushed us as adults to sort of the limits that our students were going to. Our teachers were then trained to follow up on their students. We had teachers also pushing the um, limits of their endurance on going on trips, going on the um, journeys with our students, seeing to our students in their service activities. As an award leader myself, I had students doing the same thing. We were also pushed as award leaders to go through the process of following the service of our students, following their creativity, following their challenges and ensuring that they push themselves to the end and to their awards. And it didn't matter whether your students were gold or silver or bronze awardees. The idea and the ethos and the meaning of the Duke of Edinburgh was that pushing yourself to that final line. And I have to admit that as an award leader, and an ex-coordinator of the Duke Award team, it was satisfactory and very um, pleasing to see that our students could get to the end. Going to the Jubilee House and watching them, the smiles on their faces, was the best award a coordinator could get. Uh, 
Hello, my name is Ayako Elijanto and I'm a bronze participant for the Duke of Enuba International Awards. I chose swimming as my recreational activity and I've learned so much through this. I believe that there are many challenges in the world and the Duke of Enuba International Award does prepare me for them. Through this experience, I am world ready. Congratulations on achieving your Duke of International Award. Now, each one presents its own challenges. Bronze, because normally it's the first, for many it's the most testing. Silver, because normally it's the next step, the middle one, and so requires real grit and determination. And gold, because it demands everything of you. So that's perseverance, commitment, resilience, and imagination. Whichever one you've achieved, well done and hopefully you've discovered there's more in you than you think. Now, I'm sure there were times when you were doing it, you were wondering why. And I certainly remember when I was doing my Gold Award, it was about halfway through the adventurous journey. But now that it's over, I hope you can savour that sense of satisfaction and also feel that it was an enjoyable experience as well as a worthwhile one. But most importantly, you should feel justly proud of what you have achieved. Now, welcome to that happy band of award holders. You'll find us all over the world. I trust you feel that the award has made a difference to you and that you will continue to make a difference to others around you. You will discover that the skills and experiences that you have gained will help you in the future and that you are, as we say, world ready. Now, that for those of you who've had to overcome the additional hurdle of adapting to the conditions imposed by COVID-19, um, or have used the opportunity to volunteer in your community, really well done. Being acknowledged for achieving your award virtually is not the same. There's no denying that. But it doesn't diminish your achievement. It simply means that we cannot celebrate what you've done in the traditional manner. Now, Congratulations to all of you. If bronze or silver, I hope you feel inspired to have a go at the next level. And if gold, well, what can I say except bravo. You have achieved what others only dream of. Feel very proud. And when you leave the room, just walk a few inches taller. Thank you. 
And I'll fight with the strength that I got until I die.